Thanks for tuning in to At The Drive-In. We hope you're enjoying tonight's show. We're going to get back to the feature presentation, Hot Rod Girl, in just a moment. We've got some local Hot Rod Girls right now, and Tina's going to tell you who they are and what they've brought with them to share with us tonight. Thanks, Christy. We have with us Heather Knapp. Heather, what kind of car have you brought for us tonight? Well, this is a 50 Cornet made by Dodge. Um, I've had it for a few years now, uh, about five. It's uh, neither automatic or standard. It is kind of a fluid drive, which is kind of both. So is it a hard car to drive? At first, I did have some trouble with it, figuring out like how to use the gears and stuff. But I, uh, at this point, I've pretty much figured out how to handle it. Now <laughs> but you're... it can still be sticky sometimes. Almost everything on it still is original, except for the interior, which me and my father worked on uh, two years ago. <laughs> now, you're a member of the Cruising Buddies, correct? Yes. And what do you like about being a member of the Cruising Buddies? Um, I like all the like cruisings we do and the activities. There's not, during the summer especially, there's not a day of the week you can't find something to do. We'll be right back to our drive-in feature in just a few minutes, but first we have this Marsha Barker. Marsha, thank you for coming today. Thank you. And what kind of car have you brought for us? This is a 1966 Barracuda. And you, you bought it not in this condition. What kind of condition was it when no, you bought it? No, no. When we got it, it was just a shell of a car and uh, no engine, no anything. We redid it from the ground up. I have an 8-track. You have an 8-track? I have an 8-track that we just put in. Oh, you did a lot of work on it, obviously. It's got to turn a lot of heads when you drive down the road. Yeah, it does. You don't see too many Barracudas on the road today. Kathy, what kind of car have you brought to show us today? This is a 1955 Mercury Montclair. And how long have you owned it? Uh, close to 28 years. Well, she's our baby, you know, so. <laughs> if you notice under the dashboard, there's a a big silver box, that's a 45 record player. It plays, I believe it drops 10, 10 records at a time. And uh, it was an aftermarket, but we get a big kick out of it. It, it does play 45s. My husband uh, likes to play his records when the car is just standing still. He can't drive with it because it shakes the records. That reflector shows us when we're at a traffic light, if it's red or green. We can't see the traffic light with the visor on the car. Years ago, the traffic lights were on the street corners. Now, how would somebody become a member of the Cruising Buddies? Well, we have a website, uh, cruisingbuddies.com. There's an application on the website. Or if you see one of us, just ask and we have applications. Are they all old cars or can people with newer cars become members too? It, you don't need to have an old car to join the club. Um, all you need to do is just come and enjoy yourself. And a lot of charity work is done with the group, yes, right? Yes, we, we work. Um, for a lot of charities. We just finished um, a mystery crew or a memory cruise, I should say, for one of our organizations. We raised a thousand dollars for that. Wow. And it's for children and, and uh, it's just great. Christmas time with the children's home. We do a lot of work for them also. So. Well, what a great group. Uh, we really appreciate you bringing your beautiful car with us. Thank you. And uh, we'll be heading back to Hot Rod Girl in just a second. 